All right, this is going to be part two of the video on how and why to use PhotoBucket. So the situation is this. We've taken some pictures with our camera. The pictures are now on this little device, the little SD card. So we need to get the pictures off of this card, or at least a copy of them off of this card, and up to the website PhotoBucket. Before you do that, it's going to be very important for you to know where the pictures are on your computer. So let me just give you a little review from our basics class and if you haven't attended the basics class this is the kind of thing that we spend a lot of time in learning because it takes some repetition to really get an appreciation for this. So I'm gonna take this card and I'm gonna stick it in a slot on my computer that looks like this, this little hole. Alright? So now I'm taking the card and I am pushing it into the slot. Before I do, I want us to go to a location on the computer and it's got a brilliant name. It's called Computer. The way I get there, and you can follow along uh, maybe after the video, but I click on the Start button which is the little orb, multicolored orb in the lower left corner, and then over on the right is the word Computer. computer. Now dependent on your operating system it may say My Computer whatever the case let's click on that now this shows me all the things that are connected to my computer here's the hard drive it's called local disk C uh, this is a CD that's inside my computer uh, these are a couple of other drives not important for what we're doing right now but now I'm gonna actually push my storage card my SD card that came out of my computer in or out of my camera into the computer so I'm pushing it in two things are gonna happen one is this little autoplay box is gonna come up don't need that now I'm gonna hit the X the other thing that happened is this the SD MMC drive came up this is my memory card I'm gonna remove the memory card just so you can see this come up again so focus your attention on this area right up here so I'm removing it and now that's gone. It's just showing me, they call this the BD-ROM, it's where you put in a CD if you wanted to play it. Alright, I'm going to push the card back in. Two things will happen. We'll have that little autoplay box that comes up. Ignore that if you can, but just focus on this area and you're going to see the SD card. And there it is, SDMMC. So this tells me that this has some information stored on that little card. Now if I click this and press enter, it shows me there's lots of files over here that are just laying loose on that card. There's some folders inside that card to uh, make things nice and organized. This is a folder called Nice Horse Pictures and I want to use this video as a chance to show you how to move the Nice Horse Pictures over to PhotoBucket. I'm going to click one time to press enter and now it shows me a little icon associated with each one of these horse pictures. You may recall that over here is an area where we can change the view. I'm hovering over this little button and it says change your view. The drop down allows me to pick the view I want. I'm going to go with large icons and so now we can see what these pictures look like. Alright, enough of that. The big thing I wanted you to know is that the cards are stored on this little item that's called SD slash MMC. The pictures that I want to move are inside a folder called Nice Horse Pictures. All of this is in a directory or a, a section of the computer that's called Computer. So we're going to keep that in the back of our mind. I'm ready to close this out. Alright, so what we're wanting to do is to go to Photo Bucket and upload the Nice Horse Pictures. If you know the web address of a place you're wanting to go to, all you have to do is click one time in the address bar. So I'm putting my pointer up in this area. Clicking one time, that turns the whole thing blue. And now I can type the web address. It's photobucket, P-H-O-T-O-B-U-C-K-E-T dot com. Press enter on my keyboard and away we go. All right, we're on the photo bucket website. Uh, we've already established ourselves an account, so I'm going to click here where it says sign in. We're going to go into Nancy's account, N-A-N-C-Y, 
C R E N S H A W. And I'm going to press tab, and I'll show you why. I could take the mouse and come down and click in the box that's beneath there where we would enter our password, but the tab button on the keyboard jumps you from one box to the next box. I love the use of that box because it keeps both of my hands on the computer and makes it much quicker and easier to get things entered in. I didn't talk there because I don't tend to talk and type very well. All right, I entered in the password that we established when uh, we were in class the other day, and now it's taken me to Nancy's account. All right, and it shows us that she has already loaded up some class pictures. Well, our goal with this video is to upload more pictures. Notice that they have this green upload button to where it really stands out. Well, they do that on purpose because they know that one of the main things you're going to want to do is upload your pictures to this website or to your account. All right, we're going to click on Upload. And now we need to determine where these pictures are. We're going to upload these from our computer and we want to upload them to a specific place. Uh, if we just uh, went ahead and selected photos as things stand now, it wouldn't really organize these and put them in a nice tidy folder. So from the very beginning, we're going to choose to create a new album. See the Create New Album link over on the side? I'm going to click it. And now it wants me to give this new uh, album a, a name. I'm going to call it Nice Horse Pictures. Nice Pictures. All right. We could describe further what's in here, and as you collect more and more pictures, it's probably a good idea to put some sort of description here. Uh, what is this? Oh, that's, I think if we wanted to put those within uh, a different folder, we'll ignore that for now. Uh, and I don't mind leaving these pictures as public. We talked about the benefits of uh, public, private, and password protected. I would use this if I was taking pictures of someone else's children, uh, someone else's property that had uh, their license plate number on it, something that could divulge someone's identity. These pictures are very nondescript, so that's not important for us. We're ready to create this album, so I click here. And let's see. Okay, it's ready. It's made our album. So now it's going to upload the pictures from our computer and it's going to put them in a folder called Nice Horse Pictures. Now it's up to us to go and select these pictures and videos. I click on it. And this uh, computer or photo bucket went to the last place that I had asked it to search and find pictures before. And as you recall, uh, may recall, it was when we had Brooke's seventh birthday party. Uh, naturally, this is not where the nice horse pictures are. But we did know, or we took note, that it was on the SD card, which was part of my computer. So we're close. I'm going to go all the way to the top of this directory. So I click on computer, and it shows me there's the hard disk. Here's the SD card that we plugged in just a minute ago. So we need to open this. That SD card is where the pictures are stored. All right, and this shows the loose files that are stored on the card. Uh, here's one called Computer Class Material, DCIM, MISC from Miscellaneous, and lo and behold, here are the nice horse pictures. We need to open this. Click one time, press Enter, and now then, we need to select all of the pictures that we would like to upload. For the sake of time, I'm going to upload just the first, uh, say, five or three. Let's just do three. The more pictures you're going to upload, the more time it takes. And it'll also give me a chance to demonstrate uh, the click and shift click method to select, uh, they call it contiguous. I hate that word. But basically, it's files that touch each other. So this file, so two three. I would like to select these first three. Since these first three are in line or in series, I can come down to the last one. And now I'm going to press and hold the shift button on my computer 
and click. So at the very same time, I'm currently holding down on the shift button, so I'll just click and now it selects all three of these. Let's just say for example I wanted to select all of them. I click on the first one, come down, and then on my keyboard press and hold shift and then click the last one and it selects them all. All right, the way I unselect or deselect is click anywhere in the white space and it lets go of the selection. All right, we'll go back and we're only going to select three. So I click the first one, come down to the third one, press and hold shift and click. All right, so it's got all three of those. Now I have to come down and click on this button that says open. To me, that's really a bad uh, term, but that is the term that, uh, that computer people use. But that means that we're ready to begin the uploading process. This is a progress bar and we're already done. It uploaded those just that quick. Now if we wanted to upload more we could click here and it would set about uh, things in motion to do that. Uh, what I'd like for us to do is just take a look at this album that has those three pictures in it and it shows us the first three pictures. Uh, if we wanted to get a better look at say the first one you just click on it and it opens that one picture up. Keep in mind that what has happened here is it made a copy of those three pictures that was on our SD card and they're now residing on, or a copy of it is now residing on the photo bucket website. Alright, so here's the picture. I'm going to click on it one more time and see if I can get a bigger image of that. That may be as big as that gets right now. All right, if I wanted to see the next picture, I'd click this next button, and then the next picture. And now you'll notice the next button is dimmed out because there's only three pictures in the folder. So we're at the third picture. We're viewing three of three. Um, another little tidbit we did in class is if we wanted to share this picture with a friend, uh, we could come right here, click on the button that says share. We tried doing this in class. It was a little bit uh, labor intensive. Here's the simpler way to do it. Uh, this is if you wanted to post it to a website. We click on send email. And now then this gibberish down in this box right here is what we need to get. Uh, we can click one time down here and I believe control A, yes it will, it'll get it. So I need to get all these letters and these letters spell absolutely nothing. But if we can select them, we can copy them. So I click on them and then with one finger press and hold the control button and you'll recall the control button is in the lower left and the lower right corner of your keyboard. There's two control buttons on your keyboard. So if I press control, hold it down, and then tap the letter A. It selects all that. Now if I press and hold the control button and tap the letter C, control C, that'll copy it. Now it's just a matter of taking this copied text and pasting it into an email. So I'm going to click on a tab that has my email open. I'm ready to compose a message. I'm going to send this to Nancy. You see Nancy's name comes up in the two box as one of my autofill options. I click on her name. We'll put a subject in here. Then we'll click in the detail box and paste that link into the box. Control, press and hold the control button and just tap the letter V. You don't want to hold the letter V, but just tap it. One problem we had last week was when we pressed and held the letter V, it pasted that thing in there multiple times. Now I'm going to do that just to demonstrate. So if I press and hold it, you see it puts it in there many, many, many times. So that wasn't quite what we were going for. I'm just going to select those to take them out. So the key is to press and just tap the letter V. I've got those selected. I'm going to hit the, uh, the delete button on my keyboard and it takes them right out. I'm going to go ahead and send this to Nancy and she'll have a surprise waiting on her. When she receives it, all she'll have to do is click on that gibberish that we pasted in there and it will take her right to 
those pictures that we've uploaded. All right, I think this should get you through PhotoBucket and allow you to upload pictures and how to share pictures. Watch it a couple of times and then uh, follow along with it. All right, catch you later.